So what I'm going to do is I'm going to walk you guys through the natural selection virtual lab. So the easiest way to get to the um, lab is to just scroll down here and click on evolution. And then you'll get to the course resource newsletter for evolution. And this has tips on um, lots of assignments, but um, especially um, it has links to handouts and things like that. Um, so for this one, you're just going to, uh, it tells you exactly what you need to turn in. Um, so for this one, we're going to get the handout, and I've already got it up here. So um, let's see what the lab says. So this is going to be a virtual lab, so it's all online, and you're going to turn in according to your direction. So you're going to turn in the directions, say that you'll turn in the pre-lab answers, the data table, the bar graphs with labeled axes, and discussion questions. So we're going to visit this website. I'm going to click that I want to allow flash. So you probably won't be able to do this on an iPad or um, anything like that because they don't have um, flash on iPads. Um, so here's what we're going to do. You're going to submit your pre-lab table graph answers. Notice I keep saying this multiple times. And then your rubric for grading is below. So let's look at our pre-lab questions. Um, we're going to have to read the background information in order to um, to answer these questions. So this right here, this would be called the background information, these slides. Okay. So you're going to go through that and you're going to answer your questions here. Okay. Okay, and you're going to do this for each question. You're just going to answer it. Okay, we don't need. Okay, and this tells you the Industrial Revolution. This is also in this pre part right here. Um, industrial Melanism, that is defined here. Okay, we need to see what Kettlewell's hypothesis was, so let's see. Um, how do we go back? Okay, so let's see if we, oh, okay, I see. It just keeps going, it's like a circle. Okay, so let's go to Kettlewell's experiments. Here's your life cycle if you need that part. Um, Kettlewell's experiments. So, um, Here we go. He felt that, um, this is what he thought. He thought that dark environments will have more, um, more dark will live than light. because those dark moths are going to be more camouflaged on a dark tree that's a tree that's been darkened by pollution than a light moth. In a light environment, you're going to have more light moths living because the trees are going to be lighter and they won't have been um, damaged by pollution as much. And so the trees will be lighter and then the light moths will have more... Um, more camouflage on those lighter trees than the dark moths. Okay, so now we're going to test the his hypothesis. Okay, so we're going to open this bird's eye view part. Okay, and the simulation will let you look at natural selection environments. So at the beginning, we're going to have 50% light and 50% dark. Okay, and then during the simulation, the graphs will record any changes in the population. Okay. So here we go. We are going to be predators. Okay, so we're going to guide the bird with the mouse to the moss. We'll click on the moss with the mouse to eat the moth. Every time you eat a moth, you'll hear a crunch. If you miss the moth, you'll hear a bird call. 
eat as many moths as possible in the time that you have. Okay, that doesn't sound too bad. Uh, in the minute that you have, excuse me. Okay, so choose a forest. We'll do the light forest first. Um, so that means we'll be doing this top row of the data table and then second we'll do um, the dark. And then table one, do you see how it says your title here? You're gonna wanna title this. Okay, so you're gonna wanna make some sort of descriptive title for this graph or for this data table. Okay, so let's do our light forest. Okay, so what do we need to do? We are the bird. Okay. So we're chomping. We're chomping all these moss. So we started with 50% light moss and 50% dark. Now there are 81% light and 19% dark, okay? Because we could see the um, dark moths easier, we ate more dark moths, okay? So let's go back to this experiment and let's try the dark forest, okay? <laughs> So um, for this one, I'm not going to tell you guys what this is, and I'm going to actually um, blur this out um, when we watch, when I give the video to y'all, that way that you guys can um, figure this out yourself, and I know that you've done it yourself, okay? And then um, I'm going to um, I'm gonna actually put the same, I'm just gonna put 50-50 in here, which is incorrect, but that way when we go to work on the um, the graph, we'll be able to do that um, without you seeing the answer, okay? So the next section is we need to make a graph, okay? Um, there are graphing programs in the sidebar. You can download Excel with um, your, um, with the course, if you need help downloading Excel, let me know, and I will, um, I'll send you a video that shows you how to download Excel. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and open Excel and then show you guys kinda how to make a graph. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna just put my, um, I'm gonna put my data into the, um, into Excel. Luckily, we don't have a ton of data, so it's not gonna be too big of a deal to put it in here. Okay, and for this um, lab, you're gonna wanna make a bar graph, okay? And again, remember this 50-50 data that I have here, this is fake. I just have it here just so I can practice showing you how to do the data table, okay? Okay, now um, 
this is the way the data is presented in your lab, um, in your lab data table. If you keep it like this, your graph is going to look a little weird. So here's what I suggest you switching it this way. And then when you go to make your graph, just highlight this part. Don't highlight the light percent and the dark percent yet. We'll work on that later. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a graph. Okay. You can do it like this. You can do it like this. Um, whatever you want. Um, we can leave it in percent um, since we're doing percent anyway. Okay. And then this is our, um, this is actually, it's labeling it incorrectly. So we'll fix that. Um, oh, actually it is correct. Okay. So our light forest is going to have more light moss than dark moss. And do you see how it says series one and two down here? That's not really right. And then we also, we don't have a label for our y-axis. So we're going to um, work on that too. Okay. So I'm going to make sure we have a label on both axes. So here's what we did. We went over here to plus. We did axis titles. And then we get it there. Okay. So for here we can say um, type of forest. And here we'll write um, moth percent. Okay. Now here, do you see how these are saying series one and two? Here's what we're going to do. We're going to fix those. So in the light forest, we had mostly light moths left. Okay. So we're going to pick the name for that. The blue is going to be light moths. Okay. So now do you see how blue is light moths percent? Now we're going to go to series two. And we're going to make this one um, dark moths percent. Okay. And then we can label this. We can label um, um, color of peppered moth depending on forest uh, color. Something like that. I, you know, you can call it whatever you want. Um, and now you've got this nice graph. Okay. So we're going to take this graph and I'm just going to copy it and I'm going to paste it in here. Okay. There we go. Okay. It changed the colors a little bit, but that's okay. It's in here. Okay. Now I'm going to go, whoa, and I'm going to answer my questions here. So I'm going to do the same thing. Do you see how I had this, this red text? You don't have to use red. Um, it is helpful if you use another color, but you don't have to. Um, and then you'll just answer each of these questions. Um, do you see how this says defend your answer? That means you're going to have to write more than one sentence. You're going to have to write why you think that's going to happen. Okay. So that's what it means by defending your answer. Same here. Explain why or why not you need to defend it. You need to use multiple sentences to explain what's going on here. Okay. And then here's your, um, your rubric and there's also a rubric in the, um, in the course. Okay. And that's how you complete your natural selection lab. Hopefully that was helpful.